your wife, Brenda, a couple of years ago to cancer. Yes. Um, can you tell us a little bit about Brenda? She was very down to earth, a loving mother, terrific wife. Um, she was dealt um, a big blow in January of 2011. She found out she had um, stage four ovarian cancer and passed away September 27th of that year. You had a family. She, yeah. Since she's been gone, she's shown a lot of signs that she's still here. Um, our youngest was Max, who is now four. She died 10 days after his second birthday. When we met, I had two sons, um, Josh and Justin, and then she had a son, Carter. It was tough. You recently got engaged. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about her? Jane, we met October of 2012. She has two kids. Jane was incredible, you know, accepted Max and the boys as her own. She has stepped in admirably to, you know, act as a mother. Recently, we received a letter from one of Brenda, your first wife's friends. We don't know who. It was an anonymous letter. And inside the letter was a couple of other letters. One was one your wife, Brenda, wrote to you. And she asked this friend to send it to us when the time was right. And your wife, Brenda, in the letter said she was a fan of our Christmas wish. And she had a wish for you. And so Colleen has that letter, and she's going to read you this letter from your wife, Brenda. The letter is dated August 3rd, 2011. Hello, my name is Brenda Schmitz. When you are in receipt of this letter, I will have already lost my battle to ovarian cancer. I am writing this letter to have sent to you by a dear friend who has instructions to do so when it was the time. I told her once my loving husband, David, had moved on in his life and had met someone to share his life with again to mail this letter to all of you at the station. I always enjoyed through the years the Christmas wish you all put on. It is a tremendous and thoughtful deal you do for people that truly exemplifies what Christmas is all about. As I was thinking about my last months on earth, I told David my wishes after I was gone that I believed he followed through with the attitude and courage I know he possesses. What a great husband and father he is. I know all of this is extremely hard on him. He is the one making the best decisions from here on out for my family and ultimate finding a caring, compassionate, loving woman in time to help raise the boys. We have four boys, Carter, Josh, Justin, and my little Max. Max is the youngest at two years old. No child as young as Max should lose his mother. And it brings tears to my eyes now thinking of it. God, I will miss seeing him and the boys grow up to be fine men. My reason for writing this I have a wish for David, the boys, and the woman and her family if she has kids also. I want them to know I love them very much, and they always feel safe in a world of pain. I was hoping that one small act you all could do for me can change and help their lives forever, and they know I am with them always. First, for David's new lifelong partner, a day, or better yet, a weekend of pampering in all aspects of her life. She deserves it. Being a stepmother to all those boys, and especially giving little Max a mother's love that only she can give. Make her smile and know her efforts are truly appreciated from me. For the family, a magical trip. Somewhere where they all can enjoy their company and companionship as a family and create those memories that will be with them forever. Finally, the cancer doctors at Mercy Hospital and nurses of 8 South. A night out full of drinks, food, and fun for all they do every day for the cancer patients they encounter. May God bless and keep all of you safe there. Thanks for this. When you wish upon a star, Brenda. David, I, I love my wife very much. I could not imagine losing her and then getting a letter from her two years later. What do you think? It's not... One, it's not surprising because she's the last year and a half. She's so so many signs um, that she's there. Um, uh, the biggest one, uh, 
was the day she died. At, she was at Johnston Hospice, and we hadn't had rain in the area for five weeks. Max and her song was uh, Over the Rainbow. Yeah. Um, and she sang it, and he sang it. He was two, not even two, and he would sing that song verbatim. They watched it, videos, YouTube, whatever of it. And um, the day she died, that morning, um, there was a double rainbow that stretched from Johnston to Ankeny. It was five minutes, bright as can be. And there's no doubt in my mind who did that. You know, the, the, the one I'll, I'll tell you was Max and Jane. We were jet skiing one day, and I had gone out with my son Josh and her daughter Madison. I had turned and looked back when we were heading out, and there was this huge seagull just flying back and forth above Jane and Max. And I didn't think nothing of it at the time. And we got back in and Jane obviously had, I, mean, I could tell she'd been crying. And I said, well, what's wrong? And she said, Max came up to me and asked me if I'd be his mommy. Huh. And, um, <laughs> and she responded, well, yes, I'd, I'd love to be your mommy. But before Brenda had died, the reason I say this is she had told me she wanted me to you know, move on and, you know, hopefully meet somebody, et cetera. And she goes, I know you'll find somebody. And, you know, and I said, well, how will I know if she's the right person? She goes, because you'll know I'll be there. And she, she loved the beach. She loved seagulls. And there it was. I mean, seagull flying over the top at that moment where Max asked, Jane for the first time if she would be his mom. And You're a lucky man, David. You've had two good women. Yeah. We want to grant Brenda's wish. David, I'd like you to meet Brian Leach. Brian Hi. Leach is with Service Legends Heating and Cooling. Hi, Hi David. Along with Brian and his team, uh, we are going to send you and your family on a magical vacation for eight to Disney World. Oh, my God. <laughs> David, when I've read Brenda's letter. My heart leapt out. I couldn't make it through the letter. You must be so proud to have, uh, have been with such an amazing woman, yeah. mom and wife. I'm so honored to be able to uh, grant Brenda's wishes. Thank you. Brian has uh, helped to spearhead a community-wide effort, made possible great local companies like Grip Tight Foundation Repair and Slumberland Furniture have helped contribute to this. Mediacom has joined in, and they're getting everyone in the family, all eight of you, park hopper passes for four days. And just as Brenda wished, Jane will be pampered with a relaxing massage while you're at Disney World. Oh, man. And we want to complete your wife's wish. Brenda's uh, wish was to recognize the unsung heroes for their hard work day in and day out, the nurses and doctors at Mercy Medical yeah. Center, 8 South. In the bag, corporate catering is uh, going to bring all of you a special treat. Three coordinated food drops will be made on behalf of Brenda for all the care, comforting, and hard work over at Mercy. We wish you and your family all the best moving forward. I'm in shock. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Star 102.5's Christmas Wish, presented by Service Legends Heating and Cooling. The reindeer.